Hello, people of the world. It's a uh, soul train. People of the world. I was really hoping to have Shredder with me today. But he's still at the hospital because they need to do another ultrasound because this morning they tested his blood and his kidney toxins are going up. And I don't know what that means and I don't know what to believe because yesterday the doctor said his kidney is not looking that bad. And I said, what happens if he doesn't have an infection and the kidney levels keep going up? And she said, well, it doesn't mean much. So this morning, his kidney levels have been going up for two days now, yesterday and today. <clears throat> We're picking him up later. We're going to pick him up when I'm done with this. I'm just going to go straight there to him. They said around three. I don't know. I'm just going to go there and sit in the parking lot and wait. But I don't know what that means. They says, I don't know what it means. They keep giving me different reports. Like, how can he be okay if his kidney levels are going up? And now we're trying to find, we're trying to find a, a vet who will do house visits. You guys know anything like that? You guys know anything like that in LA? Are you a vet that lives in West LA? I don't know, man. I just, ugh. I, I don't know what to believe because, like, I was feeling super hopeful yesterday after talking to the doctor. I thought, hell, I don't know. And I heard some people being like, my dog got super vet. My my dog got kidney disease, and they live for a, while, a long, like, years. And now it's like, I just don't know what the fuck to believe, dude. I asked Whitney. She doesn't know anyone. Dude, I looked, I'll tell you, I'll be honest, I looked into a fucking kidney transplant for him. But they are apparently super dangerous on dogs. Like only 40% success rate. And apparently the kidney doesn't last very long either. I mean, here, look. I don't know, maybe, I don't know, this is just from what I'm... A kidney transplant? I feel like that'd be so fucking hard on him. Dude, someone said their Yorkie passed away at 22 years old. That's what I wanted. That was my fucking dream. That's what I thought was going to happen. Kidney transplant for dog. Like, it sounds... You guys ever wonder why? It says I could get a kidney transplant for my dog for $15,000. I just saw someone post something on Reddit about how they got a kidney transplant and it was like $200,000. Bro, I'm so... People are saying... Would I put him down if he was extremely sick? Of course I would, dude. Of course I would. I'm not... I'm trying not to do that. I'm not doing that. Until... You think you could ask Julian Solomona for advice? One of his dogs, Peach, recently got sick. Paralyzed from the bottom, and they take care of her 24-7. Hmm. Really? I'm going to message him right now. Yes, yeah, somebody got to ask the vets how they do it for so much cheaper than the humans on the kidney transplant. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to message Julian right now, dude. <laughs> Hang on. Good advice, you guys. Thank you. This is the kind of advice that I'm looking for. Anything. Anything and everything. Because I'm, I'm, my hope was that if we had, like, super, super high-level care at home, giving him IVs every day and, I don't know, keeping his kidney flushed, whatever, then he, then he would be okay. Or he could keep living, like, I guess, relatively normally. But that's what they're doing at the hospital. And the kidney toxins keep going up. They still think he has an infection. I don't understand that because he just did a second round of antibiotics last night. They tested him and there's no sign of an infection. Okay, wait. Let me ask Julian for his vet. Thank you, guys. Wait, no. Hey, Julian. 
sorry to reach out like this. Our dog fell very ill with kidney disease and desperate, desperately trying to find good care for him. My chat is telling me that you guys had a good vet. God damn it. Good vet for your pup. We're looking for at home visits. Any advice? Thank you. And I will send that to him on Twitter as well. Wait, is he even following me? Shit. He might not even see it. He only follows. Oh, wait, no, he does. Let me see. I'm going to unfollow. He does not follow me. God damn it. Let me see if on Twitter he follows me. Julian. Solo mite. Solo meet. Is he not on Twitter? Solo mita. He's not on Twitter. Is he not on Twitter? He's not on Twitter. I called Whitney Cummings already. She doesn't know. She doesn't know anyone that does house visits. Fuck. I know. I thought I was, I was looking at Alfredo like, you ready to donate one of those good kidneys, dude? But from what I read is that it's not a great option for the kidney. Tra Here it says the success rate of kidney transplants in dogs was about 40%. 40% is not good because if it fucks up, your dog is cooked. It's done. Although I guess it's a last ditch effort. So I think it was probably going to be the same outcome. There's been recent reports of some transplant recipients receiving three to eight years after surgery. A published review of only 26 dogs. This is like super rare. UC Davis found the median survival time was 24 days. And only 36% of dogs lived 100 days after surgery. Like, fuck that. It's not even worth it. It could be so traumatic for him. To get that major surgery. Moody, I'm so sorry you're going through this. Our dog has renal diplasis, born with one very small kidney. And they told us he would most likely die before five. He's now almost five and doing well. Don't lose hope. Look into renal diets. Thank you. Yeah, we're go we're going to get him on all the renal diets and all that stuff. And... <sighs> And I know he's only five. I just fucking don't. You guys said super vet. What is that? Super vet. The super vet. Well, who the fuck is this? A show? You guys want me to reach out to a reality show? Are you serious? Is this for? Is this what you guys were talking about? This fucking guy. This guy? Super vet. I prefer not to have cameras involved. There's got to be someone who would do it that's not going to film everything. I'm sure he's an amazing vet, but it's not a very realistic uh, suggestion. You know what I mean? Fuck. Wait, are those episodes or seasons? Oh, man. Beautiful dogs. Okay, super vet. Bella Simmons, the legend. Sending my well wishes and love. I know it's supposed to be so hard. Get a second opinion. Okay, so... Right, a second opinion. So we went to our main vet. 
he did the blood test and then said he has ki stage four kidney failure. You should take him to the animal hospital. So then they took we took him to the animal hospital, and they've been doing tests for the last three days. So it kind of would you consider that a second opinion? Because I feel like I don't know. I just. Ugh. I do want to get a second opinion, but I really want him to come to our house. He's just so stressed. Hassan knows Julian. Okay, I, I hear you guys. Here, I'll, I'll I'll send that to Hassan and ask if he can pass it to Julian. <clears throat> Yo, dude, can you pass? Wait, do I have Julian's number? Let me just see. It might even be in my phone for some reason. Yo, dude, can you pass a message to Julian, to Julian for me? Julian Solomito. Solomita. Solomita. Oh, look who's here. He lives here with Alfredo. I'm doing this now, and so we can just go wait in the parking lot or something. Uh -huh. You live? Yeah, I'm live right now. We're just, I'm just talking about Shredder and what to do. Is this good for Alfredo here? Yeah. We did some steak training, too. He's doing good with the lay down. Yo, dude, can you pass a message to Julian Sotomito for me? I messaged... Him on they the people were saying that they have a vet because their dog was sick, and they had a, de a vet that they loved that maybe was visiting their house. Oh. People are saying you look pretty, but that can't be real. That can't be true because I keep hearing that you're ugly from all these uh, roided out freaks. So I don't know what to believe. We I have talked to Whitney Cummings. She. She was unable to help us. Well, she gave me a contact. Back. Actually, yeah, she gave us a contact, but... They don't do home visits. Can we just, like, offer someone, like, a stupid amount of money? Like, you don't do home visits, but would this be worth your time? I don't know. Maybe that's a little... Maybe find someone who does it. Okay, Punky Val asked, is Shredder's pancre pancreas tested? So all of his all of his other organs are in good shape. And the vet goes, the, so we tested all of his other organs, his pancreas, his heart, his liver. They all look good. I'm like, well, cold comfort. Because apparently they keep fucking saying... I don't know, man. I just don't know what to believe. I don't know what to expect. They keep giving us different things. Sorry, Becca. So sad. So sorry. He doesn't have cancer. They say it doesn't look like he has any cancer in it or anything like that. But they're doing a second ultrasound just to... Just to make sure. A vet with a kidney specialist in your area. That That's an interesting mm. idea. Let's see. Let's see. Vet, an Aryan, kidney. Box for Lee's small animal hospital is the best in Los Angeles. Okay. Let's write that down. Veterinarian kidney specialist near me. A kidney specialist. Dude, dog medicine... Or it's kind of crazy how... Dog medicine is like... So advanced, but... People love their pets. People are willing to spend anything on their pets. If they can afford it, you know? I'm taking notes. Is it possible you could have lupus? I don't know. I don't see why he would. You know what I was thinking about? I was like, I want, cause he had a tick, not recently, but like a year ago or something. And I was like, I wonder if he has Lyme disease. But Lyme disease doesn't really exist here. Would it come out in blood tests? No, Lyme disease is like impossible to diagnose. But 
Lyme disease doesn't really exist on the West Coast, as far as I understand. Right, guys? Home pet doctor. Home pet doctor? Some people are saying, ask the gentle barn. It's not... I wonder... Lyme disease, but yeah, but Lyme disease doesn't exist on the West Coast, pretty much, I thought. Katie says, shreds in crisis. Hope he can be stabilized. Repeat bloods in a few weeks. My one-year-old dog had kidney disease, and she went down a stage a month later. Oh. Damn, that's right. so so sad at one. Uh, so so she's saying... Wait, she went down a stage? Yeah, oh, yeah, so yeah. It's possible to go down a stage. Like yeah, it's yeah. It's possible to reverse the severity. I think it's possible if it's acute to low to go down to a baseline, but oh. you can't reverse the damage. You know what I mean? Yeah, so you're not gonna go back down. No, you can lower it with treatment because if it's right, like with shredder right now, because he hasn't been treated at all, it's like super high. Yeah. So the idea is to get it down, and okay. then, but you're not gonna get it lower than that. You know what I mean? But maybe in a couple of weeks it can keep going. But I did say mobile vet in L.A., someone said. Okay. I'm writing it all down. I saw, oh, someone text me back already? He said yes. Okay, that's good. These are all great leads, yeah. you guys. Thank you. Lyme disease doesn't really exist on the West Coast. I've never heard that. No, I swear to God it's true because I was, like, super paranoid when he got the tick. Um, thank you, Christina. Group of men were calling you ugly? What the fuck? How old were they? Freaks. Oh, calling you ugly? It's just unbelievable. Why would they do that? What the fuck? I just don't get it. What is it with men? And it's like... I, can they hear me okay? I don't know. I don't they know. should, yeah, but put it up okay. to your mouth. It's like somehow with men, they can look whatever. It doesn't matter, right? But, like, women's got to be beautiful or you're just, like, basically worthless. Just apologize for your existence. This is crazy. Okay, wait. Let me find out about kidney disease. Because, look, watch this. I'm going to show you. Uh, where uh, uh, cases of Lyme disease in Los Angeles. Or maybe I was thinking of rabies. I don't know. Look at this. <clears throat> look at this, you guys. I'm serious. It's so rare. Reported Lyme disease in L.A., 114. From 2000 to 2018. There's like nothing. That's not, yeah, that's like... It, most, of the, most of the Lyme is on the East Coast and like, you know, like wooded shit. <clears throat> like it's, it's so low, you guys. Yearly breakdown. I mean, in 2018, there was four cases. Right? So I, I was like, God, it's like, that's for people, not dogs. Lupton also presents as Lyme with acute kidney failure when all the other organs are fine. It's worth having the labs run. Look up lupus nephritis. I'll, I'll, I'll ask them because we're going to go get him today about Lyme or lupus. <clears throat> Lupus Neff. She said here, lupus nephritis. nephritis. Wait, he said the same one that Whitney sent. Oh, those oh, so this is the one that Whitney told us to do, right? Yeah, uh -huh. So Okay. Okay. Let's call them. Maybe they know somebody because at least it's in our area, kind of. It was, um, no, the tick, I think it was a deer tick that bit him. Yeah, we get deers or, or coyotes. So. Or, and we had rats with ticks too. Right. Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Types of ticks with Lyme. Because I'm pretty sure that the ones that bit him did have, were the Lyme ones. Or oh, shit, let me see. 
Uh, okay, download image. So I think it was this one, the blacked leg. Yeah, it was this one. This is the one. Okay. But here, wow. here it says wide. I just remember what it looks, and I was super paranoid at the time when, when it happened, because I was like, God damn, I got to make sure that like it ha it was this one. I'm sure of it. Here's somebody saying deer tick is what caused my Yorkie's kidney failure. Still alive six years later. Black legged deer Lyme transmits Lyme disease, widely mm. distributed in the northeast and upper Midwest. That's but there are deer in our neighborhood. There are deer. <clears throat> okay. It was for That's sure this one. one. It was a deer. So a way to test for that? You know what? I don't know because I know it's like super hard to diagnose, like notoriously hard. Like, let me see. How do you to... think that could have been? Wait, you think that could it have been does. what just happened? The, the acute. I don't know, but I looked it up, and it does cause kidney complications. Because that would mean he would have a tick on him now. No, it takes yeah. it takes like a year for it to show. Okay. It can oh. at least it can. What the hell? But I don't. I doubt it. The chance that it's Lyme disease is like really low. Yeah. I'm Someone says, "Have you looked into Let's Move It? They're fully mobile in Los Angeles." Uh -huh. How to diagnose Lyme disease in dog. Mobile vet in Santa Monica. Wait, what the fuck? Hold on, I'm going to take this off screen. Right here. Okay, guys, there's also something I should just address real fast since we're all here. It's not shredder related, but I should tell you guys. We're doing a new thing, so everybody's freaking out right now. It's it, We uploaded a highlight to the main channel, and everyone thinks it was an accident. Oh, but here I'm gonna I gotta leave a comment so that people know that. All right, let's get to the main story. So you're asking if there. <laughs> First of all, as always, gotta like your own content because if you don't, who will? And then second of all, here I'm just gonna write the explanation here. Gosh darn it! I was really hoping to get him at like twelve, and we could go sit in the sun at his favorite dog park. Maybe we can. Where the fuck did the, where the fuck did the tab go? Did it close? Gosh darn it. Okay, so what, what are we reading? Should somebody dog die, die Three weeks ago. Now? Sorry. It's so sad. Someone says there are tons of mobile vets in LA in any major city. It's very common. Okay. Okay. My dogs were told they had 24 hours to live and organs would shut down. They both survived. I'm released from animal hospital after two days. I hope so. I I live in California. Personally, know two people with Lyme disease. So it can really be that rare? I don't know. I guess this is for Los Angeles County. I agree. It's weird because there are a lot of deer here. I mean, not like a lot, but there are deer here. We see deer in front of our house all mm -hmm. the time. Yeah. Yes, he, he is on flea and tick pre prevention, yeah. especially during the summer. Dude, the high sodium thing. I wish, dude, one thing that I, yeah. I wish somebody would have fucking told me that these small dogs are prone to kidneys because I would have been so much kidney failures because apparently like sodium is really fucking bad for their kidney. And I never heard that. And I was giving Shredder like, Cheese. He loves cheese. And I was always sprinkling cheese on his fucking food. And I just wish to fuck. And I'm so pissed at the stupid fucking vet, too. Because I took him to the fucking vet three times in the past year. They says, trust me on this one. On what? This one. Um, access. Okay. Yeah. I took him three fucking times in the past year because he was puking. He was not interested in his food. His breath was super, super stinky. We thought he had dental problems. And the fucking vet never motherfucking once said anything about Lyme disease. And I could have changed his diet back then, dude. Just like the minute that we heard about the kidney, obviously we start Googling everything. And then it's like, it's all clear. There's so much information, like... If they ever just mention that, it's just frustrating. I 
I changed Alfredo's diet immediately. It does sound like medical malpractice, dude. It does. It really and is. by the way, I mean, we went there specifically for his bad breath. And now we know that that's one of the symptoms, but they never even mentioned, like, let's look at his kidneys. Maybe we need to check that. And if only I fucking knew that then, we could have prevented this shit. Like, fuck. Three fucking times I took him to the vet in the past year for different things related to it. Alfred is never getting cheese again, I'll tell you oh, that. No. He's going to. But like there's treats that are healthy that Alfredo likes, like fruits. He loves edamame. He loves edamame. He loves fruit. He'll eat like bell pepper. You know, he's like. Yeah. <laughs> People are saying, oh, it's common knowledge not to give them cheese. I always thought that you could give them cheese for like training or sprinkle on your their food. And that was yeah, fucking like fine. In, in small amount, not. I was, I knew about the salt though, like I would wash off food. Adamami is not salty, it's plain. No, I don't put salt on it when I give it to him. Yeah, there's no salt on it. Adamami is naturally high in sodium. Let me see. Really? Hold on, hold on, let me, let me fact check this. I googled it. I, anyway, it's not like I give it to him regularly, it's just if I eat Yes, it. yes, plain edamame beans are non-toxic for dogs and are fine in small amounts. I guess they're not like a great one. He loves that shit. Wait, hold on. Hold, uh, sodium content. Let's see. I don't know beans are low in calories and gluten free. They also contain good vitamins. Potential side effects. Humans often cook them in salt, which okay, we don't, don't do that. Don't cook it in salt. Soy, while high in nutritional values, common allergy in dogs. Okay. okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he's allergic to it. No. I think it's, I think the way you feed it to him is fine. It's not like I feed it to him. It's like I give him a couple. When you I eat yeah. and he gets a couple of beans. Yeah. Blueberries, I heard are good. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> okay, we got, I guess we got some good leads. Shit. Yeah, I took them. Yeah, it's been such a roller coaster. It's just like one moment where like. Feeling like there's no hope. And then another minute it's like, okay, we're going to turn. I hear you guys on the Pasadena place. I got that one. That's yeah. actually what Whitney recommended too. So maybe it wouldn't be a terrible idea to get a second opinion there. And it's mm -hmm. probably a lot closer. Actually, let me see how far is it. I'll do it off screen. That scares me. What? That you're even going to look that way. Oh, this one has a way higher rating than the other one. I'll do it on my phone. No, they can't. They can't see this monitor. I know, but accidents happen. It's kind of far, but doesn't matter, does it? The other one is far, far too. So it's not like the other one's closer. Hmm. Someone says you can get dog-friendly cheese that doesn't have salt. Yeah, I wish I fucking did that. I'll definitely. When we get to that point, we'll look up like help. It's going to be a lot of homework. Dude, I 100% feel like it's my fault. Like, I just keep thinking that it's my fault, that I should have no, known better, and I should have changed his fucking diet also, before. The, the problem is that Stupid. Shredder is so difficult to feed. Like, everybody that comes over and sees what we have to deal with, they, they're, like, shocked. Because you will put food down, and he will just not eat it. Nothing will get him to eat it. And then he starts <laughs> scratching at their... We have, like, a trash can for diapers. He'll start jumping on that to make noise that he wants something. And like, we're like, okay, what do you want? What can we give you? And then you start like, you try to get creative. Like, okay, let me sprinkle some cheese and see if you can eat that. But it's just, eat that. dude, I fucked up. You can starve him out like we've done it before. You just have to let him starve and then he'll eat the fucking food he's supposed to eat. And I just give in because I want to like, spoil you him. Would, you'd make him like boiled chicken, you know, it's. Technically, that should be fine, right? I don't know. They say giving them a bunch of protein is not good for their fucking kidney either. Look at this one. Thank you, um, Rosita. 
We'll look into that. <coughs> I just don't know why his kidney levels are going up, and now that makes me super nervous. Fuck, man. But the, also the reason that I think it's my fault or some my diet that I was oh. giving because he's only five, like it doesn't even make sense that it would happen to him so young. Like that's that shit's fucked up. <laughs> 